Um, the next thing we'll want to do in this model, now that we have a few 3D elements in it, is um, change the materials of these elements. Because when we're going to be doing a sun study, what we really want is a um, totally white material so that you don't get distracted by uh, the colors of the layers on your sun study. So let's just go to the right of way and click on the material and you can just change the color here. I'm going to go and grab um, a white color. If you want to make sure it's pure white, you can just drag this uh, color right up to the corner here. Should say 255 for all three values and you can go OK. And I'm going to do the same for the buildings. And uh, is there anything else? Yeah, the topo. Okay, so now if we go down to our rendered view, for example, we should see that everything has the same color. Um, we'll still see different colors for the line work, so um, we can change the values of those as well, just temporarily. I'm going to make them all black. I'm going to turn off this row center lines. And now we can go over into our top viewport here and go into rendered mode. And this is what we see. So this is a good start, but uh, this doesn't really give us um, specific shadows. This is just kind of like a fuzzy shadow around a building. And what we want are very specific shadows. So the next thing we're going to do is set our sun and our skylight environment. So if we go over to rendering, just go down to this use custom environment for reflections and turn that off. We're going to turn the sun on in the lighting. And we're also going to make sure the skylight is on. But instead of using this studio, we need to use the Rhino Sky. So we're going to use this drop down box and go use a new environment. Import from environment library. And we can just choose the Rhino Sky from this list. As soon as we do that, you see it kind of darkens up those shadows. Um, that is just adding a sort of blue skylight to this area. And now let's go into our sun settings here and set the location and the time. So currently it is set to Accra in Ghana, and we're going to just go to Vancouver, Canada, and click OK. So now you see uh, you have something that looks much more like a sun shade analysis. Um, but what we're going to do now is create a bit of an animation throughout the day. So making sure that this is in plan view and kind of centered in your frame, what I'd like you to do is go up to this um, animation tools and this you can find in your render tools toolbar. So if you're on the standard, you just have to navigate over to render tools and then find this animation tools box. If you click that, you see there is something called um, sun study and we're going to use our left mouse button to select a one day sun study. And when you do that, you can um, go to your latitude and longitude and you're going to want to set this because it resets back to another location. So you're going to have to choose Vancouver again and go OK. And um, now we're going to choose a date. And the dates that we do sun studies are on the summer and winter solstices and the spring and autumn equinoxes. Um, now the sun should be fairly similar on the spring and autumn equinoxes. So you really only have to do one of those days. And I'm going to just use as an example, March 21st. So the, the solar um, solstices are on December 21st and June 21st, which is of course the first day of winter and the first day of summer. And March 21st and September 21st are the spring and autumn equinoxes. So let's go to March 21st. Um, I suppose we can change this to this year. I don't think the sun would have changed that much in 10 years, but let's just do it like that. And let's give this a starting time of, let's say, uh, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. and just see how that goes. This minutes between frames 
is how many minutes are going to pass between each rendered frame. So if we start at seven o'clock, then that means the next frame is gonna come from 7.30. So I'm gonna reduce this to 15 minutes between frames so that I get a really nice robust um, expression of the sun as it moves throughout the site. We can keep our file type as JPEG and I'm going to put this on rendered viewport instead. I think um, it takes maybe a bit too much time to do the full in the preview. So I'll just go rendered viewport and go okay. And then if we click the preview, you can see the path that the sun is going to take over the site. This gives you a good preview of what the sun study is gonna look like. So if you're happy with that, you can use this record animation button to begin. Um, and be aware it is going to basically render out all the frames that you need to create this animation. So what you're going to end up with is a, um, a file that looks kind of like this. So you're gonna have a bunch of frames that progress through the day in 15 minute increments, and these can be used individually or as a full animation. And um, also it's going to give you this HTML file. And if you double click on that, it will play it in your browser and give you a link to an animation that shows you the sun going throughout the day. So you can um, decide for yourself what the quality should be based on the strength of your computer. Um, I have a fairly powerful computer here, so I'm actually going to um, change this to ray traced and let it render out. I'll let that save to my computer and then I will continue with my next animation, which will be on June 21st. Yeah, I should mention when you uh, begin your animation, it's going to ask you for a target folder. And so mine is going to my documents into this folder called animation. You might wanna go in there and actually create um, your own folder within that that is specific to this day. So I'm gonna go March 21st and select that as my folder. And that way it's gonna go to March 21st and not just have images kind of all over the place. Um, if I change this to run animation, I'm not sure exactly what that does, but we can just check and see what it does. And the number of passes for real-time display is the number of render passes that it's gonna go through. I have mine set to 50, which is gonna let it be a little bit chunky, but um, so it won't be totally refined, but that's probably good enough for what we need to do. And then it says press enter to start recording. So I'll hit enter and there it starts. You can see down here it's rendering my viewport and um, each frame gets rendered out one at a time. And if I go to my folder where everything is getting saved, you can see that these um, images are beginning to come out uh, from, um, from the render. All right, so when that folder has finished uh, rendering, you should be able to find it where you've saved it. And um, one thing I forgot is that I had all of the line work hidden during this. So um, if you want that line work visible, you're gonna have to select it again and just go back and um, double check that that's on. So um, you can um, make sure that you put that on if you wanna kind of see all the rest of the context around there. Now, some of the lines might not show up, like some of these contours might be a little light, so you can just change those to black for the purposes of the animation. Um, and those should show up a little bit better there. Um, if I go to my ray trace view, it'll give me an even more kind of specific preview. The shadows will look a little bit sharper in the ray traced views than they do in just the rendered viewport view. But I um, haven't tested which one is fastest. I think it's probably just gonna depend on the computing speed of your processor. Um, one other thing to note is that you might want to just save this as a view. So if you go to your views in your um, dropdown box and go to named views, you can then just save this as the sun study plan view. And that way, if you accidentally move around or zoom or do something else, you can always return to that exact viewpoint later, um, which is handy if you are taking a break or doing something else in between. So that's really it for the Sun Study animations. And um, hopefully that's helpful and I'm looking forward to seeing what you come up with.